Hey guys, today I'm going to teach you how to cook one of my favorite vegetables, the eggplant. How delicious is that? So a lot of people are afraid of this because if it's not cooked well, it does go a bit soggy. But I'm going to show you how to do that so it doesn't. And, you know, I'm going to show you making the best thing ever, which is ratatouille. So for my recipe, you need one about this size for three people. If you want leftovers, use two or three. If you're making for like six people or a big family, then just go for the two or three and then anything that's left over you can use again and it's even better the next day. And this recipe is all vegetables, so it's extremely healthy and delicious. So uh, let's get started. You see I've chopped it into cubes, this size, and I've peeled it. Now you don't have to peel it, in fact there are more nutrients in the skin, that's why it's a pretty colour. Um, but my daughter can't chew it because it, get, it is kind of tough to chew. So if you're an adult, just suck it up and eat the skin. It's really good for you. If you have kids, you might find you have to peel it to get them to eat it. And my daughter just spits it out. But if it's not, if it's not got the spit on, then she will eat it. So if you're making this in a slow cooker, because you can, you might want to do this the step the night before, because um, this is what makes it more meaty instead of juicy. So you're going to put some sea salt on it. Okay, I'm going to have to grind this in a bit, but you're going to actually put quite a bit on, and it also gives the ratatouille a nice flavor. Let's put that on. And you're going to leave it for at least half an hour, but you can leave it on for longer. And I'll show you what it looks like when it's all sink, sunk in. You want to get a good coat on there, and you don't want to leave this if you're like on wood or anything like that because this the salt makes the juices all come out of the the eggplant um, and it makes it so it, it makes it tasty but it also it makes it so that it's not as watery when you add it to your the rest of the recipe and this is also if you want to use eggplant for um, a lasagna you can cut it into long into thin slices and salt it a bit and leave it for like half an hour and then that way it won't be soggy and you won't get soggy lasagna. Right, Lorelai is helping me make ratatouille. I'm making, <laughs> I'm making it with bacon because I love bacon. Yep, you hold the bacon. Don't eat it. Yuck. Um, we've got courgette. I kind of had this one left over, so I'm going to use the rest of that. And the big one. I'll probably only use half of this. That's our eggplant with salt. It's still going. Um, it's been draining liquid, which I've cleaned up, but it's making a bit of a mess. You want to use Provencal spices, but also, you know, oregano and Italian spices work really well too. Garlic, three cloves of garlic, a red onion and two bell peppers. And I'm going to put some kale in it. And I've got two cans of um, tomatoes. There's no sugar or anything added into these. They're just plain tomatoes. You can also cut your own tomatoes, but that takes forever. We're back to cooking ratatouille. You can see my mess I'm making. So I'm just um, frying my bacon here with uh, a chunky onion, a red onion. I'm going to chop up some garlic and chuck that in in a second. And I also had like about a, a half tablespoon of this. I just kind of shook it all in. Can't really go overboard with the spices. Well, you can, I guess. Just, you know, a tablespoon would even be fine. I'm going to cut these up chunky as well, and my zucchini. I'll probably only use half of this one because it's gigantic. And I've got two cans of tomatoes. Now, if you're doing this in a crock pot, you'll want to fry your, um, if you're using bacon or, you can also use mince, but it's not as nice, I don't think. Um, to fry your onion, your garlic, your peppers first and then add them with your zucchini and courgette and your tomatoes into the crock pot and then you leave it there all day. You can even wait on the courgette and add it um, last, add it 20 minutes before you're going to stew. Then it doesn't get too soggy. Depends what you like really. I don't mind soggy courgette. And the kale you add in as well um, at the end, because otherwise it'll be, could overpower the flavors. I'll uh, show you what it looks like when I'm done. Oh, also, I'm doing it on a wok because I don't have a big pot. Otherwise, it's much easier to do in a giant soup pot. 
and make a double portion of it and freeze it and it's going to be amazing. So this is how you do the big eggplant. Once it's been there for an hour, you'll find that you can squeeze quite a bit of liquid out. You can do this with paper towels if you really want, but I find that they stick, so just kind of do this. And you're going to do that with all of your uh, eggplants. Just grab a handful, give it a squeeze, and that will stop your ratatouille from being more like soup. You make it more like stew. Okay, that's it. Oh yeah, and this is my stuff cooking. Give it a try. See how chunky and delicious that looks. It's just ready. Once these uh, bell peppers start going a bit softer, then you, um, you add the eggplant and the tomatoes. Alright, delicious ratatouille. So as you can see, my bell peppers are starting to soften a bit. My eggplant is in there. It's starting to look pretty amazing. So now all I have to do is add the tomatoes. So again, if you're using a slow cooker, at this stage, you would be putting it all in the slow cooker and um, adding the tomatoes and then just letting it sit there the whole day. And trust me, it would taste more amazing if I could do that. But I don't have a slow cooker, so I'm making a milk walk. Make do with what you got, right? So I'll be adding these tomatoes and then I'll show you again what it looks like and when I add the zucchini. So I had to go out last night, but this is what's left over of the ratatouille. As you can see, it's just kind of turned into a mush. And it is so good. I wish you could smell this. It's amazing. And you'll see my uh, courgettes here. They kind of... This is the consistency I like them. They're cooked through, but they're not mushy yet. I just made this leftover lunch, a bit of goat's cheese on top, and that's it. So yum.